How do you measure your foot for wearing Zori or Geta? Let's talk about the width of Zori real quick and just get that over with. Unless you have a narrow foot, your foot's going to fall off the edge. They are constructed in a very narrow way and it's just part of wearing these shoes. No one has ever said anything to me about my foot falling off the edge. And so again, kind of put that out of your mind. It's, it's part of wearing your Zori. What I want to talk about specifically is the length. This is where the fun begins. You have to decide if you're going to wear these in a more Western style, which is your foot completely on the shoe, or a more traditional Japanese style, which is your foot hanging off the edge of the back of the shoe, anywhere from half a centimeter to two centimeters. And I am talking centimeters, not inches, because <laughs> that's gonna make a big difference. The reason that they leave their feet hanging off the back is that it gives the illusion that your foot is smaller than it actually is, and therefore it gives you a more dainty appearance. This is going to be your best friend when it comes to measuring your foot for your Zori and get it. Make sure the tape measure that you get has centimeters on it. Do not try and do this by inches alone. It's not going to be as accurate. Measure your foot from your longest toe to the end of your heel, the back of your heel. And in my case, I am 24 centimeters. And in my case, I am most comfortable with only having about half a centimeter of my foot hanging off the back of my shoes. So I tend to look for Zori that are 23.5 centimeters long. You may be completely comfortable with two centimeters hanging off the back of the shoe. This is something as you wear Geta and Zori more often, you're going to discover this about yourself, where your comfort level lies and how you want to wear your shoes. If you are doing this remotely and you do not have a chance to actually try them on at a kimono store or perhaps at a Japanese fair, please do everyone a favor. Do not ask them to convert this to a Western shoe size. It's not meant to be measured at a Western shoe size. And in my experience, this is simply a recipe for disaster because everyone's foot is different. Everyone's level of comfort and how they're going to wear the shoe is different and it's just going to create more of a problem if you try and compare it to a western wearing a western shoe so your best friend in getting your new pair of zori and getta is going to be your measuring tape and eventually figuring out how exactly you want to wear them and what your comfort is and how you are going to wear your getta and your Zori.